Hi, welcome to this review of this Raynox Super Macro Conversion Lens um, for uh, digital SLRs, actually for pretty much any lens. Um, I got this off Amazon, um, it was about £47 um, and literally it clips onto a camera lens and allows you to take a macro picture. Um, I was a bit sceptical, I've read quite a few reviews about it, but um, I was a little sceptical about how it worked, but uh, really, really impressed with it actually. Um, so let's just quickly show you the um, box. I'm not sure why my camera isn't auto-focusing, anyway. Um, so uh, there's the original image, as you can see there, and there's the macro lens uh, with the DCR250. Um, and uh, I shall put some pictures up at the end of this video as well. I'll put a link to a video I did of the macro shots I've taken with this. Um, I'm actually really impressed with the quality of it. Um, sorry, I don't know why this camera is not focusing. Right, let's do a bit of manual focusing then, shall we? There we go. Right, sorry about that. Um, I'll call that bit out, I think. Right. So it is the model DCR250 Super Macro Lens for digital SLR cameras, high definition camcorders, um, M250 Super Macro Conversion Lens, Universal Lens Adapter, Lens Cap Case and Instructions as well, made in Japan. Um, and there's the actual uh, picture of the product itself. As you can see, it comes in two parts, 40 mil, 44 millimeter front filter thread and snap-on adapter included. Um, so if we take it out of the box, um, it does come in quite a nice box actually. It comes nicely packaged. Uh, right. So you get in there a uh, Raynox um, warranty. Not that anyone, does anyone ever use warranties? I don't think I've ever used a one manufacturer warranty. I'll take it back to the shop. Um, and the uh, a little leaflet of other stuff that they do as well. Um, and other products that they do. They do fisheye lenses. Um, they do wide angle lenses. Ooh, didn't know they did that, might have to have a look at that. Um, they also do um, telefoco lenses and stuff like that as well, so that's a little leaflet about all the different bits and pieces they do. And then these are the instructions, not that you really need them because it's the easiest thing in the world to put on. Um, so there you go. So that's what comes in the box. The actual lens itself comes in this little case. Obviously I've had this for a couple of weeks, I've only just managed to get a, a video review. So it comes in a plastic case, that's the actual lens itself. And then that there, is the clip on. So if we take this out, you can see pretty much like your lens cover, um, it's just got clip on. So it's got two spring loads and you press, release, press, release, press, release to put it on. I'll show you that in a second. Um, and this is the actual lens itself. Um, so it's got two covers. This is when you try and not get fingerprints on it. Um, so there you go, um, a Raynox Super Macro Lens. Obviously it's not the best quality macro lens in the world, but it's 47 quid instead of a macro lens specifically made, which is a couple of hundred quid, if not more. Um, and for what I want to start with, and before I see if I actually do get seriously involved in macro photography, uh, it's just what I need. So basically that screws into Vawa, like that, and as you can see, if I actually put this on the lens cover now, it will probably not like it, but let's try it. Ooh, hang on. So there you go. So um, if I just widen that there and I'll get this here, um, you can see the sort of quality that you can get. So you can see how uh, close you can get and then you just literally adjust the focus and you move, I tend to move away in and out rather than adjust the focus because it's slightly easier. Um, so literally, that's all it does, it just clips on the lens, simple. Um, so let me show you this on this um, Sigma 70 to 300 mil lens that I've got, um, which is a big behemoth of a lens, um, which I'm not that impressed with, but anyway, there you go. Um, so there you go, so there's the lens itself. Let me just zoom out a little bit. So you can see the lens and then literally snap it in and away you go. And it just adds an extra lens to the front and it just uh, increases the magnification. Um, it does bring, I'm really impressed with the results, um, it does bring some really good results. You have to be a bit, the focus part of it is very narrow, it's right in the centre so you have to judge around a bit and some shots come out really good, some shots don't come out at all. Um, but it's all a case of playing with it um, and I shall show you some 
shots that I managed to do um, at the end of this video and I'll also put a link down there were, um, which will give you uh, a link to a video that I did of all the macro shots that I've done uh, or some of the best ones um, and I have to say I'm really impressed with it. So there you go, um, that's a review of this Raynox um, Super Macro Conversion Lens, £47 off Amazon.co.uk. Um, if you're just starting to get into macro photography, it's a really good first investment, and then you can go and spend your three to £400 on a proper macro lens. Right then, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. I'll try and do more um, soon, and you can follow me on Twitter at IanHRP. Thanks a lot, bye. Right, so I just thought I'd add a bit on to the end of this video. Um, as you can see, un cactus. £3.48. Um, it's a Japanese... Um, so, anyway, yeah, that's the cactus. But I just thought I'd show you the, um, the macro lens. So, this is um, as shot without the macro lens. If I just put the macro lens on... And then just increase the magnification slightly. You can see... Now, you'll see what I mean about the focus. It's quite a narrow focus range but if you look that way you will see a little bug just moving around on there and that's the type of quality that you can get and literally if you just move this is what I tend to do when I'm taking photos you just play with your positioning a little bit and you can get really good quality um, shots on there obviously it's a bit difficult because I'm on the tripod at the moment so but that'll give you an idea. Um, the only thing that you do have a problem with, if you come in, so it's just a wide length, you do get that little ring round there. Um, but when you're taking a shot, you can edit that out, obviously, um, and you can crop it. Um, but I tend to have it on full zoom, and then literally just move it around and you can get some shots. So there you go, little example of what it's like. Um, I didn't really think of doing it for video, but there you go. So there you go, little bit of an example. Photos coming next.